Hey, I'm Michael B. Two Lighty Effects. I got a great question here from YouTube, and this is from Brock Domar. And I think I'm pronouncing that right. And Brock says he's got himself one of these Mr. Cool low lying fog machines. His question is if I can I use just water instead of fog fluid and dry ice, will that work? Well, Brock, why don't you just try this out and you tell me if it worked. Anyway, let's go ahead and try it out. Let's get rid of that. I just happen to have here. I get this thing open. I went shopping this morning. I got a bag of ice, too. We'll do another experiment with the ice. We happen to have a block of dry ice here. Hmm. Okay. Put that here. We're going to try this out. So first of all, come on back to the warehouse. We gotta break this stuff up. Okay, now we'll put this right down there, and let's find a hammer. Hammer, do we know where a hammer is? Yeah, under the shipping table. Under the shipping table. There's a shipping table. Here we go. You want to? I know this for a fact. You want to make sure whatever you use dry ice for, when it comes to theatrical effects and things, you don't want to touch it because you'll freeze your hand off. Actually, you'll burn your hand. Break it up real good. That should be good. Let's go put it back into the fog machine and see how this works. Dry ice is going to cost you between 90 cents and a dollar a pound. Ow, that killed me. Anyway, between 90 cents and a dollar a pound, that's going to be a bruise, uh, depending where you buy it. I happen to buy this at a store called Hy-Vee here in Missouri. I don't know how big of a chain it is, but a lot of your fishing stores that sell minnows and worms and that kind of stuff will sell it. And a lot of grocery stores will sell dry ice. Another place that you can check out is, you know, the ice cream guys that sell ice cream. Good thing for them to sell. That's why they call it ice cream. Money. Anyway, they got to buy dry ice for the truck. So ask them where they buy it. All right, here's our machine. We're going to fill up the fog container instead of fog juice with distilled water. You don't want to use tap water, by the way. You say, why not? Is that what you said? No, you didn't. Oh, well, I'm going to answer it anyway. You don't want to use just you don't want to use water from the tap or anything else besides still water because if you get impurities in the water, it's not going to be any good. Why is it going to be any good? Because it's going to clog up your fog machine. You clog up your fog machine, you got a mess. Okay, so we got the water in there. We got it all warmed up. Let's see what it does. That sounds real thrilling, doesn't it? It's doing nothing. Why? That's right, because there's water in it. There's no fog fluid. But I think what Brock is thinking, if you add this, that's actually steam. It's warm steam coming out. So I think what Brock is thinking, when you warm up, ah, that's cold. When you warm up dry ice, it starts smoking, right? Ow, and it starts burning. Let's pour that in there. <laughs> that is so hot. Isn't that weird? It's so cold. It's hot. Okay. All right, we got that. So, Brock, we're going to answer your question right now. I have no idea what the answer is going to be, but we're going to trigger this and see if this does anything at all. Ooh, look at that. How do I get this on constant? Huh, I guess I have to hold the button. Anyway. Now, let's see if it accumulates anywhere. We got some nice dry ice coming out of there. And it stopped. And we have nothing down there. Well, uh, Brock, I don't think this is going to do what you want it to do. Uh, you know, like they have the Nimbus. You put dry ice in it and some hot water, and the Nimbus heats up the water really good. And then what happens is it, you get this great ground fog all over the place. Well, I think we solved the mystery. I think you'd be better off just like pouring some water on this. <laughs> oh, it's going nowhere. All right, let's go back. Let's get some fog fluid. We'll fill this up with some fog fluid. Put that through there and we'll see what happens. Fog fluid. Here we go. Well, we know we're going to get some fog out of here, but maybe the fog fluid. We've done some experiments like this before, but since I had the dry ice, I might as well do it again, huh? We'll get rid of the water. Distilled water, I hope you know. 
And we're going to pour, pour some fog fluid into there. This happens to be HDF. Real thick stuff. By the way, question. Does the ground fog fluid actually hang to the ground? It's not the fluid that's doing it, really. It's the coldness in the machine that's doing it. So, we got that in there. We're going to have to pump out the water that we've already put in there. Now, that's just dry ice coming out right now. And what we need to do is suck some of this fog fluid through there. Okay, now I think the fog fluid is beginning to mix in with the dry ice. So, so far we're getting a little thicker, if you can see it on the floor, we're getting a little thicker ground fog down there. Alright, so I would say from this very scientific thing that we just did, dry ice and water does nothing. Forget it. You're better off just throwing some dry ice and hot water. Two, dry ice and fog fluid. Well, no. You got a little bit on the floor but not a whole lot. So let's do one more test. We're going to put regular ice, which I happen to buy some of that too. We're going to dump out the dry ice. Oh man, I could have fun with this stuff. You know what you do? You throw this like in a toilet or something. No, don't throw it in the toilet. It could crack the toilet because it's so cold. But anyway, we're going to dump out the dry ice. We're going to put some regular ice in here. Then let's check it out again. That's what we'll do. All right, we got most of the dry ice out. Now we're going to put in some regular ice. Ice for the ice cube. There's a little bit of dry ice in there, but it's not enough to write home about or anything. Okay, there's our regular ice cube. And this is what they recommend that you use and not spill it all over your room. Okay, get in there. Okay. And we'll close the cover. Yeah, right. I'm putting in too much ice. All right, we'll pretend like we didn't put in enough, too much ice, I mean. Okay, now let's trigger it again. Ice cube. And see what I got. You know what we got here. This is a lot better. You got a lot more flow of fog. Uh, you got a lot more flow of fog from using the regular ice cubes than you did the dry ice. Because the dry ice is just not being uh, heated enough to get that great effect. If you put dry, this dry ice in hot water, it'll fill this whole room. I mean, it looks pretty amazing. That's what the Nimbus does from Chauvet Lighting. Great effect. We were just, I mean, you know, he was asking me to, hey, is there a way around spending $1,000 on a Nimbus, which is what they cost? Well, apparently not. Unless you want to bring a big old thing of water with you to your wedding or your event and fill it up with hot water and throw some dry ice in it. So there you go. We found out dry ice. Forget the dry ice in the Mr. Cool machine. Forget using water in it with the dry ice. It's not hot enough to make anything worthwhile. And it does do a pretty good job using regular ice and some fog fluid, shooting it through the ice cubes, which is inside the machine. But it's nothing like a real Nimbus. A Nimbus makes it look like there's a cloud hovering all over the ground. So there you go. And thanks for your question.